Dana, thank you. Well, schools across the country are continuing to deal with a shortage in school resource officers. It's an all too familiar issue for the Gadsden Independent School District. KFAX 14 Morning News reporter Arena Para joining us live now here in the studio with more on the investment the district is trying to make into its student safety and the barrier they're now up against. Ariana. Well, Selena, this morning, the Doniana County Commissioners could potentially approve a contract to provide five school resource officers to the Gadsden Independent School District. But the likeliness of that happening is slim, according to Sheriff Kim Stewart, because the decision all comes down to her. She says she stands by her word that her deputies should not be utilized in schools. But when I spoke to GISD Superintendent Travis Dempsey about the situation, he says the conversation he's had prior with her paint a much different picture. So at this point in our operational budget, we've been able to secure, secure $3 million, and that amount came from the sheriff. She proposed that amount to me. GISD Superintendent Travis Dempsey says Sheriff Kim Stewart and him have been in communication. He says she told him a budget was needed to begin providing SROs to his district. And I was set on a path by the sheriff to um, secure funding. And, and generate an MOU between the county and the district that could meet these possibilities. And so we're still in that process. But prior to this, as we have reported, the utilization of Doniana County Sheriff's deputies in schools has been an uphill battle because Sheriff Stewart believes it's not effective. She sent us a statement ahead of today's meeting that says in part, quote, my position on SROs in schools has not changed. I ran for re-election on a platform which did not include SROs in any school, and the voting public chose my vision for the next four years. Her decision not to cooperate with GISD's request is something County Manager Fernando Macias finds disheartening. He says despite his feelings on the matter, at the end of the day, Sheriff Stewart is an elected official, and the county does not have jurisdiction over her decisions. So the Board of County Commissioners, although they fund that department, they provide it its operating budget. They do not control the actions or the administrative decisions that are made by the sheriff. We spoke to parents to get their take on the matter. Here's what they had to say. It's kind of uh, sad because of everything that is going on in the schools. Yes, it's sad. We, we need that, that help. It's, it's, it's really scary that my kid doesn't have that protection. I don't think having a, an officer on school is going to deter a school shooter. Superintendent Dempsey wants parents to know no matter what decision is made at today's meeting, he will continue to fight to have officers in his schools to protect the students and teachers inside. And I'm going to do everything within my power as a superintendent to try to make that happen. We need support from, from our local agencies to make this happen. Now, Doniana County Commissioners will be meeting this morning at 9, and we will be present at that meeting, and we'll be sure to provide you with any and all updates in our later newscasts and online at kfoxtv.com. I'm live here in the studio, Ariana Parra, the KFOX 14 Morning News.